Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, we're gonna work on resource manager lock and we'll see its feature. You, are, you, you would typically use a lock when you want to stop accidental deletion, deletion of your resources. And uh, we are doing AZ500 Azure Security Testing Lab series from GitHub. And all of these labs, they were very recently updated to reflect newer changes to the Azure portal. So let's do the Azure locks. So uh, we have few objectives. We're gonna create a resource group or use existing one. We're gonna add a read-only lock and then remove the lock. And every time we're gonna test and finally we'll test the delete lock. <coughs> so uh, we can create a new resource group, AZ Lab 003. So what we'll do, <coughs> excuse me, we'll come down to the portal, go to the resource group and create the resource and you can do, if you like, you can run the parcel script as well. I'm just gonna do it from the portal uh, for just one resource group, which is fine. So I have this resource group created. So the next thing that we want to do is uh, the following the storage account. So we're gonna create a storage account inside this one. So over here, what we'll do, uh, hit on create marketplace and do a storage account and uh, in the storage account we're gonna say create and we name it uh, lab 3 test 334 and uh, us is we have a policy violation so let's just use I have a policy UK South I'm gonna use for now Actually, let me see. This is the uh, zero 02. That is why it's getting the policy violation. So use zero 03, and this one you can, you should be able to uh, deploy in East US. East US. That is what is the lab is recommending. So just hit uh, review and create and create. So now, uh, what I have, I have a resource group, and I have the storage account. Uh, that one resource inside the resource group. So that's what we needed. We needed a resource group and, a, and, a, and some kind of resource to test out our feature. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add the read-only lock on the storage account. So that is gonna be the first thing. So let's see if it's done. The deployment is still going on. So now we can go to the resource. And uh, the lock is usually over here. Let's see if I need here. The locks is down here under settings. So you click on the locks and then you can add a lock so if you want once you click a lock you have to name the lock and you can either use a read only or delete lock so the first thing that we're going to try out is the read only lock and uh, we are going to name the lock as the read only lock and we say okay so read only lock and he up oh, sorry we have to read should uh, choose the read only and hit okay so what happens now, this particular resource is now read-only. You cannot really delete this particular storage account anymore. So over here, now we're gonna test this read-only locks in the settings section, configuration, secure, transfer required, option to disable and then save. So if you want to change any settings over here, so over here, let's come back to, uh, let's see security or networking or uh, encryption let's see networking in the networking I'll probably have this one okay over here so if we if I want to change something in here let me see and go under the security as well security I'm not uh, seeing anything I'm just trying to see the the one that they are asking about the TLS. I just can't remember where is that setting. So they're saying under configuration, secure transfer required. I'm pretty sure that's not there anymore. Setting, uh, configuration, yeah, it's still here. Okay, secure transfer required. We wanna disable that one. And if we try to save this one, we can't do that because it's only a read only log. So we cannot make any changes to this particular uh, uh, storage account anymore at all so can we delete that one so let's come back to the overview and uh, from the overview copy this name and try to delete the whole storage account what do you think is gonna happen so and delete 
you cannot delete that and it's gonna say because the following scope that there are there locks so you cannot do this it's saying hey please remove the lock and try again so we proved that with that account we just can't do anything uh, so the next thing that we're gonna do we're gonna remove the delete lock and we're gonna add the uh, I'm sorry we're gonna remove the read only lock and we're gonna create a delete lock so this time we won't be able to delete the account but we can still work with that particular account so let's just go back over here come back home uh, sorry go back to the storage account go down to our locks uh, just search it sometimes there's there's just too many uh, blades so I just search over here to go to the right blade I'm gonna delete this blade add a new one and in this one I'm gonna call it a delete lock okay and uh, select the delete lock hit ok so now I have a delete lock and I'm gonna do kind of the similar testing so we'll go down to configuration where is my configuration again right here and we're gonna try to change it to disable and hit save and look at that so this time you have a delete lock that is still allowing to change the configuration of your storage account but if you want to come over here and delete this account it will still gonna stop you okay so right overview and uh, delete and it says that can be deleted with this resource the parent has a as a delete lock the lock must be removed before the resource can be deleted okay so let's go back over here I think I we may have added the lock at a wrong place maybe let's just go to the locks and make sure we added the lock at the yeah so right so it's fine so uh, we can go back over here and uh, uh, this is the storage account click on delete yeah so this cannot be deleted because I have the delete lock right over here right so the lock must be removed before the resource can be deleted so over here let's see test the delete lock secure transfer so that one was successful this time this change should be successful we did that and then when we try to read that it says can be deleted because the resource or the parent has a delete lock locks must be removed so now what we have done we have successfully verified that a delete lock will allow configuration changes but stop accidental deletion another note they have by using resource locks you can implement an extra line of defense against accidental or malicious changes and or deletion of the most important resources resource locks can be removed by any user with the owner role okay by doing so require a conscious effort locks supplement role based access control so you what it's saying you still want to use the role based access control on the top of it you have another layer of protection for your most important storage accounts so that's all uh, for the lab for the lab so we just wanted to test some locks and how the locks works within azure so just remember read only is really more restrictive then a delete lock and those are the two types of locks that are available in Azure. So that's all for the video. If you like this one, like this video, subscribe to the channel and let's meet on lab 4 next. Happy learning.